Hi, welcome to another video. So, it seems that Gemini 3 is finally coming this month, because recently, Vertex AI briefly showed a listing for Gemini 3.0 Pro that was quickly removed. It looked like a preview model first, which is the usual way Google rolls these out. It even had 11-2025 on it, which basically means it could drop any day now. That's kind of insane. Now, I've tested most of the checkpoints by now, and I thought I'd do a clean recap. I want to go over what I've seen across the different checkpoints, the quirks that keep popping up, my pricing expectations, and just general thoughts on where this is going. If you watched the earlier videos, you already know how this started. The first real hint was the A-B tests in AI Studio. You select Gemini 2.5 Pro, send a message, and once in a while, you get a different checkpoint. In the network logs, you can catch a checkpoint ID starting with 2HT. That one is said to be Gemini 3.0 Pro. Getting it to show up was a grind. It popped once every 40 to 50 prompts, but I ran my whole 11 to 13 question set on it, and it was so good that I had to make a video. Floor plans were actually sensible. Doors in the right places. Furniture where it should be. The SVG panda with a burger had proper composition. The Pokeball in 3.js had great lighting. The Minecraft-like scene was the best one shot I'd seen yet. The butterfly simulation was good, though GPT-5 felt a touch better there. It crushed AIME-style questions, and even a simple riddle. It felt like a thinking variant. You could feel that from the slower first token. It never showed thoughts, but the behavior was obvious. On my leaderboard, it jumped to number one, with roughly a 25% improvement over Sonnet 4.5 on my set. At that point, I was ready to pay Sonnet pricing if Google shipped that exact thing. Then we hit the weird middle chapter. Google kept swapping checkpoints, and I was honestly fed up. An ECPT checkpoint showed up, and this one felt nerfed. Either a lower reasoning variant, or a quantized setup for broader rollout. The floor plan dropped in quality. The panda looked less cohesive. The chess demo worked, but played dumb captures. The Pokeball still worked, but it lost that extra polish. People on Twitter went wild with web OS style demos, but those prompts are not good benchmarks. A single HTML and CSS file with a few panels is easy. Sonnet, GPT-5, Claude, almost all of them can do that in one shot. That's not how you judge spatial logic, math, or deeper reasoning. 3.js with real math is where models separate themselves. On that ECPT checkpoint, the Minecraft scene was laggy and flat. The butterfly sim was fine, but not great. The Blender Pokeball lost the nice lighting and camera setup. It still passed math questions, like the Pentagon one, and it was better than Sonnet overall. But it did not feel like a generational upgrade anymore. That made me think it might be Flash, or a low-thinking Pro variant. Then came the bounce back. X28. A lot of people said it might be the new Pro checkpoint, and it felt like a step above 2HT. I tested it again with the same 11 questions and added a couple of new ones. The floor plan went from good to this is real. Proper doors, a sensible layout, and nicer furniture with lighting controls. You could drag furniture around. It was consistent, too. The same prompt produced similar, coherent layouts across runs. That consistency matters a lot, because Sonnet tends to vary more. The SVG Panda looked like it was actually eating the burger, not just posing with it. The 3JS Pokeball got colorful backgrounds, and better polish. The Minecraft scene had rivers and cleaner lighting. The butterfly sim looked excellent with rocks and flowers. 
It still clipped sometimes, but it was easily among the best I've seen. The Rust CLI for image conversion worked. The Blender script regained the proper lighting and camera. I also tried a degree of separation network simulation with a slider and regeneration controls. It nailed it first try with a clean UI and no default purple vibes. It paid attention to typography and spacing. In tool calling via Roo's Human Relay, the first function selection was on point. One call will not prove big pipelines, but it is promising. Overall, I called it a 5-10% to improvement over 2HT and still a big leap over current Sonnet and the others on my real prompts. So here is the recap of quirks across all these checkpoints without making this complicated. The stronger checkpoints feel like thinking variants. You notice that with a slow first token and steady output after that, there are no visible traces, but you can feel the extra deliberation. Consistency is unusually good on the high-end checkpoints. If Google keeps that in the public release, it will be huge for people building apps who need something close to deterministic behavior across regenerations. UI and visual taste are legitimately strong. It picks fonts and layouts like a real designer sometimes. There is less of that generic, vibe-coded look. Tool calling is the hinge. The raw reasoning is excellent, but we need the model to chain function calls reliably in live agents. If they really trained for Gemini CLI and Jules patterns, this could be a great pairing for real work. The nerfed checkpoints probably exist, so they can test safety, latency, and serving limits. That is fine. I just hope the Public Pro is closer to X28 or 2HT than ECPT. On pricing, my stance has not changed. If it lands around Sonnet pricing, I am fine with that because the performance in the good checkpoints justifies it. If they price it higher than Sonnet, they will need to justify it with tool call reliability, strong throughput, and consistent quality across long sessions. If they go below Sonnet, it will pull a lot of users, especially given how strong the product surface is right now. Gemini CLI keeps getting better. Jules is maturing. AI Studio's generators are improving and the ecosystem is more complete than most. The model was the bottleneck. If Gemini 3 Pro is as good as the strong checkpoints, that bottleneck goes away. How does it compare? On my prompts, the best Gemini 3 checkpoints are at or above Opus for generative code polish, clearly ahead of Sonnet 4.5 in spatial reasoning and one-shot 3D scenes and competitive with GPT-5 on math and consistency. GPT-5 sometimes edges on certain physics like Sims, but Gemini 3's consistency and UI taste win many practical tasks. The caveat is the checkpoint variability. If the launch build looks like ECPT, it is still good, and still better than Sonnet for many Devi workflows, but not a new 3.5 Sonnet moment. If it is closer to X28 or 2HT, then yes, this is that moment. Release timing looks promising. The Vertex listing with 11-2025 makes me think preview is imminent. Google likes to build hype with rolling checkpoints, but we are at the point where it makes sense to just ship. My best guess is Pro Preview first, flash alongside or right after, then iterative bumps. Ultra is a question mark. I do not think it launches in the old app-first way they used before, but performance-wise, some of these checkpoints felt ultra-tier. Either way, I care less about labels and more about what is actually served at launch. I want to see the reasoning depth, the tool call accuracy, and whether the consistency holds up under load. For anyone benchmarking, keep a few things in mind even if you are not running the exact same suite. 
Do not rely on those web OS style demos to judge capability. They are easy wins, and almost every Frontier model can do them. Push the model with 3D, with math, and with multi file tool flows if you want to see the real differences. Check response stability across regenerations because it matters more than people think. Measure latency to first token, and also measure how consistently it handles the same prompt after a couple of retries. And if you are testing agents, look for whether it plans properly across steps, not just whether it calls a function once. So yeah, that is the recap. From the first A-B tests with 2-HT, to the dip with ECPT, to the strong rebound with X28, I have seen enough to be cautiously optimistic. If Google ships something close to the stronger checkpoints, this will be the best mainstream model for builders right now. If we get the nerfed variant, it is still good. Just not the big leap I was hoping for. Either way, I will run the full benchmark suite the moment the public preview lands in Vertex, and I will share token economics, latency numbers, and tool call pass rates so we can get a clear price to performance picture. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.